To create a new cover sheet in Revit, uh, go to the View button at the top of the window, choose New, and then down to Sheet. Revit will prompt you for a uh, title block size. I'll choose 24 by 36. Click OK. Um, when you're in the new sheet, you can um, click in the text to change out its number and its name. I'll click in the white space to get out of the edit function of the text. Uh, you can add a project title to the sheet by going to the tool tray, this time choosing the drafting tab. I can choose the text tool and click anywhere to start. I'm going to click in the white space and escape again to get out of the text. If you need to change the style or size of the text, you can select it and use the pull down menu at the top of the options bar and swap it out for a new one. If you don't see a uh, style that you need, you can always create a new style by clicking on its element properties, edit new, duplicate, and you can give it a new name and click OK. Here um, in its type parameters, uh, you can swap out a new text font using a pull down menu and change its size. I'm going to hit apply and OK. I'll click OK again and that should change the text to the new style that you've created. Adding an image to the cover sheet, for example a map of the of the project site, um, is pretty straightforward. Just go to the file button at the top, hit file, and then hit import, and then image. This will bring up a browser window where you can choose the image from your hard drive and place it on the cover sheet. If you want to actually capture an image of the project itself to place on the sheet, um, to do that go back to the browser window and go into uh, a plan view of the project. Once you're in plan view, go to the tool tray and choose view, and then you can choose the camera tool. You'll notice that the camera tool will be grayed out and you won't be able to choose it unless you're in a plan view uh, to start from. With the camera tool chosen, uh, if you go to the options at the top, there is a perspective box. Um, if you toggle that off, that gives you the abil ability to scale the view. Um, I'm going to put the perspective view back on. The offset is its line of sight off of the floor or level that the camera is at, and you can change uh, its distance, and you can change the level that the camera is at also in the options bar. I'm going to select a spot to place the camera, click to place the camera, and if you drag out, um, this is its field of view. So I'm going to drag across the whole project to make sure it captures the whole building. I'll click again. Um, by doing that, it brings me into the new 3D view I've created. Um, you can grab its handles of the edges to start manipulating how it crops. And if you need to move around in the image to get exa exactly where you want, go to the steering wheel tool. This is located at the top of the window next to the magnifying glass. Click on it and you can use this tool um, to do things like panning, um, orbiting around, and zooming in and out to capture uh, the image of the building that you want. Once the image uh, looks about how you want it, um, you can place the 3D image back into the cover sheet. Going back to the browser window, um, double click on the cover sheet to bring it up. And then um, in the browser, find the 3D view that was created. It should be located in the 3D views category. Um, click on it and then drag it into the sheet and click to place. Once the 3D view is uh, placed where you want it, you'll notice that it, Revit has automatically given it a title uh, with the image. If you don't want the title to appear, um, that's actually an attribute of the viewport itself. Click on the, the image, go to its element properties, click edit new, and you can toggle on and off whether the, you showed the title or not using the pull down menu. Hit apply and then OK and then OK again and this will bring the title off. Keep in mind uh, that if you want some of, the view, some of the views to have their titles you need to create a new style for that viewport by going to element properties hit edit new and duplicate so that you have some viewports with titles and some without. Finally to adjust the size of the image on the cover sheet select it and at the options bar at the top you can click on the size button and you can change out its size um, that it appears on. Click apply and then OK. Uh, once you've got the size of the viewport set up, you can always go back into the view um, by right clicking on it, hit activate view, and you can actually um, use the steering wheel tool to start panning around and getting the image to where you want. Uh, to get out of this, hit deactivate view.